Hi, Seth Shostak here at the SETI Institute. Have you ever wondered who decides the names of astronomical bodies? You know, who decided that the ring planet should be called Saturn, for example? Well, nobody knows. That's lost in antiquity. But you may think it's all kind of capricious. Oh, yeah, I think I'll call that thing, you know, Ralph or something like that. But it's not the way it's done. There's actually an organization that decides on the official names of astronomical objects. It's called the International Astronomical Union and it's located in a nondescript uh, city in France called Paris. Okay, they decide. Uh, they decide for the official astronomical community that is, of course. You don't have to listen to them, but that's that's the person who has the final say on these things. Now, let me give you a couple examples. If you discover an asteroid, for example, well, asteroids, uh, you know, you find one and you can suggest a name for it you could suggest your own name, you could suggest, you know, your your mom's name or something like that, and they'll take that under advisement and maybe they'll call it what you called it. For example, Oumuamua. That was a suggested name by the people who discovered it in Hawaii and it was adopted by the International Astronomical Union. But if you discover a comet, well, comets are generally named by the, you know, after the discoverer. In other words, you discover it, you get your name attached to it. Example, this interstellar comet that was recently in the news, it was called up until today C slash 2019 Q4. Okay, uh, that's a, kind of a catchy name. It rolls off the tongue easily and so forth, but they just changed it today to a different name, 2I Borisov, because he's the guy who found it, this amateur in uh, the Ukraine. So if you're going to discover something, I recommend that you discover a comet then they'll put your name on it. If you discover an asteroid, you're going to have to, you know, get somebody else to decide that your name should be attached. One last thing. Around Christmas, you'll hear about these, uh, well, I think they're mostly scams, really. These uh, companies that will mm, allow you to buy or name a star after, I don't know, your wife or your, 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 your relatives or whatever. You know, I want to name this star Sydney after my uncle. Well, you can do that and pay them the 50 bucks and that name will be inscribed in some piece of paper somewhere and put in a desk drawer somewhere, but nobody's going to use that name. It isn't being approved by the International Astronomical Union. Sure, you can go out tonight and just name all the stars whatever names you want to give them. You can do that, but if you want them to be in a star catalog, you're going to have to deal with this little organization in Paris. Oh, and if you'd like to get more videos like this, despite you know the somewhat doubtful content, do two things. One, subscribe to this channel and secondly, turn on the notifications.